Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over cosmic rays. So let's get started. So what are cosmic rays, first of all? Well, it says that cosmic rays are energetic subatomic particles which arrive in the Earth's atmosphere from outer space. The vast majority of the particles are protons, which make up 89% of cosmic rays. Of the remainder, 9% are alpha particles, 1% carbon, oxygen and nitrogen nuclei, and the rest electrons and gamma rays. So if we summarise this in a table, it looks something like this. So you've got the types of particles here and then the percentage of all cosmic rays. So the protons make up 89%, you've got alpha particles contributing 9%, carbon, oxygen and nitrogen nuclei making up about 1%, electrons contributing less than 1%, and then gamma rays with less than 0.1%. It then goes on to say that when cosmic rays hit the top of the Earth's atmosphere, they produce showers of secondary particles, including electrons, photons, neutrinos, and muons. These particles are called a cosmic air shower. So here you can see that if a proton from space collides with molecules in the Earth's atmosphere, it's split up into a shower of different types of particles. So we've got some pions, some muons, some gamma rays, and some electrons and positrons, and so on. Just to show you a quick simulation to help you visualize this. So if you focus on this part on the right here, we can see that we've got the top of the stratosphere up here, and if I click play, you see that we get a cosmic ray, for example, a proton coming into the top of the Earth's atmosphere. We know that this proton will split up into a shower of secondary particles like this. So it collides with an air particle, for example, a nitrogen nucleus becomes a neutron and creates pions. And these are secondary particles. And these secondary particles can decay further. So for example, here we've got some pions decaying into gamma, muons and neutrinos. And these particles can decay even further to get down to the height of roughly the cruising altitude of aeroplanes. So you can see that gamma rays will decay into electrons and positrons at this height. And these particles will make their way towards the ground. And remember, this is the particles decreasing in energy as they move down towards the ground. And going back to the notes now, we can see that on the topic of energy, we say that cosmic rays have a wide range of energies. And low energy cosmic rays are thought to come from the sun. Intermediate energy cosmic rays come from elsewhere in the Milky Way. But the highest energy cosmic rays are thought to come from galactic centers. But their origin is still uncertain. So that just means the cores of galaxies, the centers of galaxies. We say the highest energies produced by particle accelerators on Earth are of the order of 10 to the 12 electron volts, which is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 7 joules. But in contrast, cosmic rays have energies in the range of 10 to the 9 to 10 to the 20 electron volts. And we say that the highest cosmic ray particles have energies of about 50 joules, about the same energy as a tennis ball served by Andy Murray at 100 miles per hour. So hopefully you realise that the highest energy cosmic rays can be much more energetic than the energies produced by particle accelerators. And these are already very high energies. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.